Hello there, it's Gav from Gav Tarantulas. Thanks for joining my Shedarium. Uh, thank you for coming back to my channel for me and uh, supporting me on all my videos. Today I'm going to do a rehouse and it is, if I can show you this one. There you go, my OBT. And still think it's a female. Um, I've not been able to get a chance to do the molts correctly because it just absolutely RKO's every single malt. But I want to rehouse it because it's going to get to a point where it's getting too big uh, for this enclosure and it's going to be awkward to get out. And if you remember my previous video, which I'll show you there, um, I literally let this one walk out and just walked in nice and calm and everything else. Not showing any fret posture at the minute either, but I'm just wondering whether it will do that now, whether it would be aggressive or it will still be calm. So I'm going to give it a go where I'll just let it out and see if it will walk from there into this one. Slightly bigger enclosure for the minute and just see if I can move the court bark into here. And then also I've got in here is uh, a Fonda Pounder Samani. So I'm just going to rehouse that into something a bit smaller because it's a bit too big for it. And then just put that one in there just because then this is easy to maintain with the webbing. And when it molts, it get big and then I can put it into another larger one. But I just don't want her in here molting again because she's borderline too big for this. And it's just getting uncomfortable when I open this up and she gets into food mode. She jumps out and literally goes to run up the tongue. So I want to change that over. So further ado, let's get on with this and see what sort of mood she's in. See if she'll walk out or she'll be true to form as an OBT and go absolutely mental. So sit back, enjoy this one and let's get started. Okay, our first one, because we need this, is the uh, Fondle Palma Samani. Don't expect too much of a problem with this one. Freshly malted um, two weeks ago, this one. Fasted for quite some time as well. No, you don't want to leave, come on. There we go. There we go. Easy rehouse for this one. Decent size, this will probably do it for one more malt and that's it, and then I'll rehouse it again. But at least I've got the enclosure I want temporary for the OBT. So that's that one all done. Beautiful species really. Almost looks like Choco Goldeny, slightly, but a docile one as well. Is that one done? Okay, decent size OBT, as you can see. Might as well pop that open ready. Hopefully, it's done. There you go, but it's still not a threat posture. There we go. Right. Now, I ideally want to use this, what she's in, the cork bar, but whether I feed her, it's normally a good shout, and she will normally comply. So I'll give her one of those. I'll have one of these, calm the nerves. She's got that fixed in there quite well.
right, if you can see. Right, I did not expect that to go as easy as that again, so I should just walk that one in. So still not aggressive as the OBT name, not one threat pose. Um, just casually walked out, so I'm not going to bother putting that back in unless you would take it. Just not bothered. So this one really is a chilled OBT, so just house it nice and easy. Obviously, I was a bit cautious there. She had a fang showing, but that was just because I got her to take a um, Mario worm just to take her mind off if you touch them straight away. So it's always a good way of doing it. But in and housed, and that would be ideal for her in here until she does another malt or two, and then I'll put her in a much bigger enclosure. But there we go. Such a scary OBT again. Rehoused. Job done. Right, so that's the end of that OBT rehouse. That was really calm. Um, I was still a little bit nervous. I didn't, wasn't too sure what she'd do because she can move fast, but it's never shown me any sort of aggression. So that was um, just that particular one that I have. But then I thought that was going to be it. But this is her old enclosure, as you can see, I've cleaned out and um, tidied up. And I like these. I made these myself, so little CD enclosures. So I like putting these ones on show. So I like just having them out and having something particular in there that does something quite nice. So I did have this one, which I rehoused temporary in here, if you can see there. And it is my uh, Chromatopelma Simulbrescence GBB because I've got a sub adult. I still haven't been managed to sex again. Um, so I've got a sling, grown on sling here, which I'm going to put in there. So let's get this one done and rehoused in here and we'll just do that now. Okay, so I'm trying to create a slope effect. Shall we use this cocoa? Is it coconut? Oh, yeah, it's in. Kind of like that. Hmm. Little dish. There we have it. Let's give you a closer look. Right, so. On the slant, nice coconut husk there, and where are we going? That's it from that angle. So let's get the GBB all in. Let's give you a close up. There we go, just going for a nice leisurely stroll. On its abdomen, there it's got almost like a, a Mohican with its hair. Slowly going down. You can see nice and plump, and is a grown on sling, so small juvie. Oh, quick shake. That's got to be a female. Only a female would walk like that. Little booty shake. I think we'll call it here. She's doing it again. I think we'll call this one Beyonce. <laughs> it's almost dancing with the bum there. There we go. So that's it all for today. So thanks very much for watching, guys. I hope you did enjoy the videos. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. And uh, leave a comment and uh, give it a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Thank you.